guys. I am not a morning person. My name is Kai. I am a new grad nurse. It's my second week working on the floor after my orientation. I mean, I'm still in my orientation, but like after all the modules and like the e-learning stuff. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am like really freaking nervous still. I feel like these past two weeks, I have not been able to sleep like optimally just because I just can't seem to get over like the pre-shift anxiety. Even on my days off, I'm thinking about work. So I feel like I'm not even getting like adequate like mental break away from work. So I don't know, these days it's harder for me to sleep. So I'm like almost considering like taking melatonin just to force myself into rest. Uh, my plan is to stay at bedside for a while just to get the foundations of nursing and just to really grasp what it means to like work with patients, how to communicate with families and just being an overall solid nurse. And then I want to like specialize in like skincare, like dermatology and just anything that's to do with kind of like aesthetics and beauty just because like when I had really bad acne growing up and it took a huge toll on me like mentally and emotionally and really altered, I guess, the way I saw myself. And like, I don't want anyone to feel like what I went through, you know, feeling like they're not enough, feeling like they're not beautiful enough. I'm not here to say that I'm gonna just by changing their skin that everything's gonna get better. But I do believe that you know, what makes you feel confident is what makes you feel confident. And that's what made me feel good. So I want to also help others feel the same in that aspect. That's the plan. I want to go back to school, um, get my nurse practitioning license and then go into Durham or anything in that like, like skin, aesthetics, beauty field. But as for now, uh, there are steps to get to that point and I'm here at that side and I'm learning as much as I can I know this chapter in my life is very turbulent just because it's so new and it's like it's a transition But the way I'm seeing it is that it's all learning experience and whatever mistakes I make whatever questions I ask it's all part of the growth and I need to go through this phase to get to where I want to be so That's how I'm looking at it <laughs> And maybe that is helping my anxiety Honestly, I don't have much time <laughs> I always get up super late, so I'm gonna get fat, get ready as fast as possible, and then, yeah. All right, good morning, guys. I am on my way to the hospital. Anyways, yeah, still nervous. That feeling never goes away. I thought it would have gotten better by now, but <laughs> I'm still so anxious. Like, pre and post work anxiety is so real. You know what? I'm learning. The thing I've been telling myself to, like, keep me less anxious is that as I'm just focus on patient safety. Everything that's around it, you could always worry about later, like documenting, like notifying the physicians, that could always come after, but just make sure patient safety is what's prioritized. Because if you have that under control, then you did, did your job as a nurse, because that's our purpose, right? This might be a little TMI, but I've been a little constipated for the past like three or four days because I've been getting up so early and I haven't had time to poop. So because of that, my friend Jerry dropped me off cold brew so I could poop. But I gotta time it right because if I drink it too early, I'm gonna have to go shit during morning meds. And that's the worst time because it's the busiest. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm in the bathroom now, I just needed a break because I'm like overwhelmed. Just did my medication passes in the morning with my preceptor. He's giving me some freedom to like get more independent and I'm not gonna lie, it's really overwhelming. I'm trying to make sure I do all my right patient, right time, right dose, right medication, right route and everything. And also remembering like, like which patients are priority and like also remembering to message my physicians and a lot a little overwhelmed right now but we're gonna we're gonna push forward and keeping in mind patient safety before anything like i could chart i could message i could do all those things after but keep that in mind so yeah lunch it's lunch time time left on my break but my girlfriend and I came to a little park nearby 
and it's so quaint. It's perfect before I go back into the storm of the craziness of the hospital. But uh, yeah, I just want to kind of like reflect to you guys of what's happening. It's a lot, right? It's, it's a lot of information and I'm like trying to stay afloat. I'm trying to look like I have it all under control, but like the fact is like, it's almost like you're relearning everything as you're going through the motions at the hospital, if that, make, if that makes any sense. But kind of, I'm helping my preceptor cover a lot of his patients. I don't get to have my own just yet, but I'm doing everything he does and I'm charting, like I'm helping him message the physicians while trying to be aware of right medication, right route, right dose, right patient, all these checks and still trying to be social because like it's, I'm still super shy, you know, like I don't know everyone at work. I don't know, we'll get through it, I guess. I think one thing I'm experiencing, it's kind of, it's kind of, I guess, I don't know, small, but like I'm just so, when I'm messing the, messaging the physicians, I like I'm so scared that I'm gonna look stupid because I feel like I don't know what I'm saying either. So like, I'm like so like scared to respond back when they're asking me for certain lab values or like, hey, is the patient doing okay? I'm like, uh, I, I think so. <laughs> So I'm like triple checking, quadruple checking all my meds, which is like good, right? It's patient safety, but I have, but it's like also killing my time efficiency because you know, there's multiple patients I have to care to, but if I'm spending so much time one at a time, the meds are also getting late for the other patients. So like, I'm trying to understand, like I'm trying to like, you know, be careful, but also be smart about it and fast about it enough. But my preceptor told me like, don't worry about that. The speed will come. You just need to worry about patient safety. So yeah, maybe I'm like trying to do too much at once. Maybe I should just kind of go take it slow, pace myself and understand that it's just, I'm so new to this still. Yeah, you're right. I just answered my own question. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's going so far. And gonna enjoy this fresh air before I go back into the eye of the storm. <laughs> Alright guys, I just got done with the dinner with the co-workers and it was like my first time bonding with everyone and I just need that first touch of like socialization and my confidence skyrockets. So I'm really glad that I went to this and not had social anxiety to stop me. So yeah, it was really good bonding. I got to know a lot of everyone. We asked each other like zodiac signs and everything and it was really cute. But um, now I feel a little bit more confident when I'm at work, like talking to them, asking them questions and things like that. So. What a great way to end the shift today. I swear when the social life is good, like work life is good. I don't know if you guys could feel that with me, but like that's just how I function. So, um. All right guys, so you know it's my first week working on the unit floor today and man is a lot of information. There's definitely a lot to adjust to, so I'm glad my Fabletic scrubs are allowing me to do this seamlessly and with much comfort. As a new grad nurse now in my orientation period, I'm following my preceptors, so I'm helping my patients mobilize, I'm running around to visit all my patients, and even turning them. So my scrub pants like Fabletics are extremely helpful as it's beyond breathable, stretchable, lightweight, and cooling. But there's a lot of other times when I'm just documenting and sitting, so I'm glad my scrub top also have the versatility and comfort as well, allowing me to be relaxed and non-restricted. So as I navigate through my brand new nursing journey. I'm glad I have these Fabletic scrubs to rely on just to keep me functioning at the highest level. So if you haven't checked out these scrubs yet, the link is in my bio and I guarantee they will change the way you see scrubs forever.
Good afternoon guys. I just am enjoying the beautiful weather today in New York City. Uh, something funny happened this morning because you know it's my day off. I'm trying to hang out with my friends, see what uh, my girlfriend's up to. And I realized I was looking through my phone and I only have three people in my life that I actually really hang out with. It's my girlfriend, my roommate, and my friend Tazan. I thought like I had more friends to just hit up, but <laughs> they're those are the only people in my life and they're all busy. So that's when I was like, okay, I guess this is part of adulting, like when you start working a big boy job, everyone's just busy. Or you realize like how small like your community has gotten. So that was really interesting. And I guess like I need days like this where I just mentally reset to prepare again for another shift. But um, yeah, I don't know, is it just me guys? Like as you get older, do you just like does your group does your circle just get smaller? Or am I just anti-social now? <laughs> Whatever it is. I'm gonna drink my smoothie. I fell asleep on the couch or in the tattoo bed while she, while my girlfriend was working. <laughs> it's so hot. In here? Outside. <laughs> what the hell? My girlfriend and I are exploring East Village because I feel like whenever we go out to eat, we always plan it. Like we look it up on Yelp so we don't like wander, but Today I'm we're still just gonna. Get up on you. Okay, well. I don't trust you. <laughs> we're just wandering and exploring. See, find any hidden gems accidentally. You know? Because that's the best way to do life. You never find hidden gems. I'm finding hidden gems tonight. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys, I am all home and showered up and with the cats. But um, what a hectic and chaotic, but very learning kind of a week. Um, I'm still on my journey and I'm gonna be having a, I'm gonna have a positive outlook on it. Everything's a learning experience. I'm not gonna see mistakes as mistakes, but rather moments to adapt and change and take note of, so. That's what's helping my anxiety and just knowing that I'm going to go at my own pace. I'm not going to become this crazy like super nurse in the matter of a month or two months or even a year. It's it's going to go at my own pace. And if I take slow, I take slow. And if I don't, I don't. So that's just the way I look at it. But I'm honestly so exhausted right now and I'm going to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, Spaghetti. Say bye, Megatron.